Hello everyone, welcome back to another session by K21 Academy. Today our expert trainer will be discussing some of the interview questions that might be asked so that you can perform well in your interviews. So let's get started. Now sample interview question guys, okay? So we are done that what kind of the question you will be getting in your examination. Now there are certain questions that you will be getting for your interviews guys, okay? A company is preparing its Azure environment for the backup of your Azure virtual machine. They need to ensure that you're following when it comes to the backup of your Azure machines over here. Azure virtual machine need to be backed up daily at 3 o'clock UTC time. A backup should be retained for the period of 90 days. Which of the following should you configure in your Azure recovery service world? Backup policy, backup schedule, backup logs or backup infrastructure over here. Of course, guys, it's what quite obvious, guys. I mean, this option was Azure backup policy because backup schedule is nothing. It's a part of the policy itself, right? And backup log will be created when you start backing up the data. So this two requirement you will be putting inside your backup policy. Another simple question, guys. Your company has an Azure Kubernetes service and your Azure container registry. Now, why we use container registry to keep your container image Kubernetes service? to orchestrate any sort of your containerized application requirement. So you have to perform a continuous deployment for the containerized application to the cluster. So the deployment needs to be made as soon as image updates are made to the registry over here. Which of the following need to be implemented for this requirement? Use your Azure automation runbook. Use your Azure pipeline release pipeline. Use your resource manager template or use your cron job. Now guys, this particular question is coming from the DevOps side over here. So this question requires certain DevOps understanding. So people who have not attended any DevOps training guys, probably you might find difficulty on this particular question because this may require DevOps understanding as well. But anyways, we have included just for have a part of the discussion over here. Guys, let's understand this, okay? Let's create an architecture over here on this. What is your Azure container registry where your code is available, right? Your image is there. Your Kubernetes cluster will be having your standard load balancer and behind it, there will be multiple node pools will be available, right? So you will have pools and inside the pool, you will have the VMs which will be running this particular container, right? Now from where this particular container image that you would like to fetch, you would like to bring this particular image and you would like to deploy inside this particular node over here. So any particular deployment that you will be using, what you use for deployment, Your Azure release pipeline guys, your CI CD pipelines will come into the picture. So guys, that is the reason I mentioned this is a DevOps question. Cron jobs are used to schedule, right? So if you have a scheduler, cron jobs are used to schedule that, okay? So guys, this question will not going to come in your exam, but this is in an interview that somebody can ask this particular thing, right? So while explaining your web application, I have explained that any particular web application deployment that you will be doing using CI CD pipeline over here. Azure runbooks can be used. No problem with that. But at the end of the day in Azure runbooks, you will have the code. You will have the runtime. But if pipeline is not there, how you will be able to put that code on that particular Kubernetes cluster? Guys, are we able to follow this? Yeah, so answer is B, your release pipeline over here. So guys, for that DevOps understanding is required. So no problem, guys. If you're not able to get this completely, it's fine. Right, because until and unless you don't have an understanding of the pipeline, I don't want, you know, or I don't understand that anybody will be able to correctly answer, but some of you have answered correctly, that is good. It may come in your interview that somebody can ask. Okay, guys, another sample question. Your company has a send your Azure web apps, okay? And currently your web apps are using your Azure access to your access databases. So you need to migrate the access keys to your Azure keyword. I hope guys, you will be able to answer that. So you need to ensure that your application authenticate by using your Azure Active Directory to gain access to the access keys. Which of the following you create in Azure to ensure that application can access. I hope guys you will be able to answer this. Manage identities, manage application, Azure policies, app service plan. And some of the options are not even required over here. Absolutely guys, the answer is A. Manage identities. All of you has got right. Absolutely guys, correct. Another simple question. Now guys, somebody who have the doubt or have the another question, guys, please bring it up over here. App service cannot happen because app service will not help you in authentication. App service plan is nothing but meeting your computational requirement using ACU, 
where you get a some option like you can create a staging slot or let's say you will have the traffic manager to use the standard premium that you can select over there so app service plan is out azure policies definitely it is not required over here because we are talking about communicating between two services azure policies is out managed application itself there it's an application it is not an authentication mechanism so rest three options are irrelevant if you are picking any other option it means you might have incorrect understanding of the question because if you understood the question correctly definitely you will not going to pick bc d options over here because those are irrelevant so this is a cherry pick question guys this was very easy now further a company wants to migrate its relational data to your azure cosmos db and the management is worried about cosmos db high availability what are two primary ways how your azure cosmos db provides high availability it replicates the data cross region it uses your azure scale set c uses your traffic manager or d replicates data four times in a region what is the feature guys of a cosmos db which brings up the high availability guys which feature of the cosmos db guys replicates the data four times in a day okay or replicates the data cross region or replicates the data six times in a region the answer is a and d guys traffic manager is not coming into the picture cosmos db is a managed service you don't deploy a traffic manager to replicate the data that is the internal mechanism of the cosmos db guys okay so whenever you are in the database discussion traffic manager is for web application not for database guys so traffic manager is out of the picture traffic manager is for the upfront incoming traffic going to head not the database database will be in your third tier guys so traffic manager should not be there over there right remember guys three tier architecture database is here in your third tier your incoming traffic supposed to hit on the traffic manager so traffic manager is out e is not a choice guys this is a false information it doesn't replicate the data six time on daily basis so e is also out if you have gone through the documentation a uh, vm skill set is again we usually use for the web tier and the middle tier not for the database because database have its own licensing cost so it cannot scale like your web application on the skill set that automatically the another vm will come into the picture another database will be there inside it no that is not a concept of a database that is a concept of a web application for the auto scaling so azure skill set is also out so b c and e are out over here and a is so of course guys we know that your cosmos db provides the replication cross region so a have to be there right and if you have read the document correctly it replicates the data four time in a region over here so that was the feature guys i hope it makes sense to all everyone so guys if you are missing on a definitely guys you have to read cosmos db guys because a is the primary feature a has to be there right and if you know this correctly it replicates it four time in a region over here further question a team is planning on deploying azure resources by using your resource manager template so the template needs to reference secrets that are stored in azure key vault so you need to ensure the deployment can made correct made accordingly over here which of the following would you use to restrict the access to the secrets in the key vault your access policies to the key vault your azure policy your role based access control and your advanced access policy for the key vault guys i hope guys this is pretty simple you will be able to answer guys c will be the choice when you will be using system assigned managed identity and you will be using role based access control over here guys understand the question people who have selected a i know guys it is sound confusing that you might be thinking the access policies will be the right answer now read the question a team is planning to deploying your azure resources by using your azure resource manager so your resources are getting deployed through arm templates right now access policy is that you will be creating for whom for the resources which are already existing right so you can assign a system assigned manage identity using that right and then you can create a service principle for that in your azure active directory if the question has been tweaked in a manner that you required ad authentication then probably it will be your azure access policy where you will have a service principle and you can select your access policy where you will have the choices available this will be for role based access control because this will be for your template deployment over here so that you can use over here guys there is no such option like advanced access policy for the key vault so it was just a tricky thing that they have given a name advanced access policy there is nothing like that in the key vault right so d is out 
Azure policies are not in the picture, but A is definitely guys is a confusing option. I do understand most of you have selected A. So over here, the access policy for the keyword you will be able to create for a user or via system assigned manage identity or service principle. Now service principle will be a choice that you will create a service principle in Azure Active Directory and then you will be able to use use it. Otherwise access policies will be for the user. So if you are talking about you know using the ARM template, right? So it has to be your role based access control that through the role it should be allowed to communicate with the keyword. So guys, this was our expert. And if you want to dive deeper, then we have something really special for you. We have our free class on how to prepare for Azure Cloud jobs and certification. Under this free class, you'll be learning about why you should learn Azure Cloud, Azure Cloud certification roadmap for cloud engineers and architects, and a lot many questions that you might be wondering about. All you have to do is just log on to k21academy.com forward slash az30502. You'll be seeing this kind of interface. Just click on book your free seat now. Schedule an event date according to your availability. Add your full name, your email address, your phone number and click on yes, save my seat. After that, you'll be seeing this kind of link on the extreme right. Add this link to your calendars and I'll see you in the free class. Till then, take care and keep learning.